Hello everyone, Nancy from Metal. Welcome to our Superman 3D logo design challenge. I'm going to show you where you can find some project files to get you started. There's a category called free stuff on the metal.com website. Select Superman Gallery. There you'll find Superman project files, textures, reflection maps, and submissions from other Shapeshifter AE customers. I'm going to walk you through one of these files and show you just how easy it is to use your 2D drawing skills to create some elaborate 3D models right here in After Effects. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at one of the project files from our website. We'll start with a RAM preview of this animation. We use animated variable feather masks, animated lights, and combine 2D and 3D effects to achieve this result. Now let's review the file setup. This project consists of a series of pre-compositions. One is the master comp. We have a texture, displacement and reflection pre-comp. We'll go to the end of the timeline and we'll switch to custom view 1 for an isometric view which will permit us to see the light and camera set up better. As you can see there are a series of three lights. They're animated over time and two of them are colored. Light number 3 is blue, light 2 is pale yellow, and light 1 is white. This is our texture map. We'll go into this in more detail later on. The displacement map is made up of many masks which are all animated over time. As you can see, there is quite a bit of animation going on here. Let's take a quick peek at the reflection map. This is pretty straightforward. It's simply one of the files available from our website with a 2D filter applied to it. Remember that you can download this project file and look it over at your leisure. Let's look at the texture map folder. This is where we start to see how powerful pre-composing can be. You can mix and match textures, images, and transfer modes then composite them via the opacity setting, add 2D filters and even animate the surface of your 3D model. This one consists of several layers, different transfer modes and different opacities. The result of these combinations is rendered in the master composition. Let's import another file and see how you can change the look. Our logo now has an aged look to it. Shoot your own textures and make this unique. The nice thing is that you can animate your texture and resize it. Now let's add another one. This red texture is quite strong. The rust texture is now hidden by the new texture that I've added, but if I change the transfer mode to difference, the rust texture will show through and the result is more of an aged copper texture. Add some more images with scratches or some grunge to weather the look even more. Combining the two textures gives you a completely different effect. We encourage you to play around with these settings and customize the textures to make them your own. Let's delete these two files and bring our file back to where it was. Next, we'll look at the displacement map precomp. We have set it up with many layers. Each one has a different segment of our logo with an animated mask. We have more control of our settings when we divide our logo up on different layers. We can take advantage of transfer modes and opacity and animate the different segments. We could create the logo on one layer, but our control over it would be more limited. Let's look at the different layers. You can see there's a mask on each one. Here's one, and another, and another. We'll select them all and hit the Uber key. You can see that there's a lot going on. If you want to look at all the details, just download the project file. As I scrub through the displacement precomp, you can see how it's animated. This precomp creates all the geometry and 3D morphing we see when we render the master comp. I'm going to hide some of these layers and take a closer look at one of them. You can see that it's made up of ramps and four color gradients. We also added the levels filter to lighten or darken the gradient values on each solid layer that's masked out. If we go ahead and select each mask, you can see that we've used the variable feather masking. The variable feather mask tool is amazing for masking and is used primarily for rotoscoping tasks, 
but it can also serve as an intuitive 3D modeling tool when paired with Shapeshifter AE. Now I'll hide this layer and if we look on the master comp, we can see the result of removing that mask layer in the displacement map pre-comp. Now let's go back to this mid-shape layer here and hide that. Now you see all that detail's gone. Now let's go back and add all that back in. This layer combined with the others results in the 3D logo shape. Let's do it again for the topmost layer and you'll see the results in the 3D logo shape. Shapeshifter is fast and responsive. You're creating this geometry on the fly right in After Effects. So the lightest parts of our gradation give us the highest points of our displacement and the darkest levels of our gradation give us the lowest points of our displacement. A minor change in grayscale value affects the displacement map. Check it out. Experiment and go for the look that you want. Let's look at that from another point of view. There, you can see how these are reacting. There, and there, and there. So the next thing I'd like to look at is the reflection maps. In our project file, right now we're using a regular PSD file. Let's change it to the reflection map pre-comp that we find in this project. Now, you'll notice that the displacement map and reflection map layers are hidden in the timeline. This is because we don't need to see them to use them in Shapeshifter. Now that we have the pre-comp assigned, let's go look at the reflection map pre-comp. It consists of the same PSD file with a slight adjustment, which is the black and white filter. We'll go ahead and import another file and see how that affects things. So let's take this image and place it right on top, in here. This reflection map is fairly realistic. We are using the spherical map mode in this example, so you can see it's reflected in a spherical manner on the logo. Let's try one that's more dramatic. Let's scroll through. Remember, all of these are available on the Metal website. You'll be quite surprised as to what makes for good reflection maps. We have used abstract images, as you can see, with this one. You can use files that you've created to use with spherical stuff. Just go ahead and change transfer modes, assign different opacity values, add color adjustments, and stylize them to achieve some very impressive and unique results. Although reflection maps are assigned in the reflection map category, the control for the amount of reflectivity is controlled under Material Properties. If I put in a value of 100, that would make it a highly reflected surface, almost like a mirror. This is a great feature of Shapeshifter. So let's go back in the reflection maps, delete those new files, and get back to where we were in our file. I'm going to recreate one of the logos from our Superman gallery to demonstrate how to do that. You'll see that you can create a complex model quickly and easily using your 2D skills, all within After Effects. This logo was originally created by Chris at Metal. It's a minimalist version of the classic Superman logo. It uses the actual dimensions of the original. So I'll begin by setting up my guidelines and then hide the layers that make up the other design we just saw. We're going to accelerate the speed here, so hold on to your hats so we can move through this quickly. I'll use the pen tool and create the segments of the logo on different layers. Each piece of the logo can have a different thickness. That way they can merge in and out of each other. This will also give me more flexibility in animating my logo. You can add a ramp to your layer, 
The darker part of the ramp recedes and the lightest part is raised. You're modeling with grayscale layers. You can create some interesting detail in your model quickly and easily using your 2D skills. So, to conclude, you can model your version of a Superman logo in After Effects using your design skills along with the familiar 2D filters and effects presets. And that wraps up our overview. Now it's your turn. Design your own version of the Superman logo using Shapeshifter AE. If you don't have the plugin, you can download a free trial version from our website. We look forward to seeing what you create. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.